the management of moral injury. What is moral injury? Moral injury refers to the intense distress resulting from experiencing events that violate your moral or ethical code. It can occur in anyone, but some occupational groups such as emergency services, media, military or healthcare staff are particularly at risk. How can moral injury occur? Moral injury may follow potentially morally injurious events, which include something I or others did wrong or failed to do, or betrayal by someone I trusted. People often find it very hard to talk about these events and their reactions to them. Getting help for moral injury can be challenging. Moral injury is not a mental illness, but may lead to mental health difficulties like PTSD or depression. Moral injury related symptoms, including guilt, shame, anger and disgust can be difficult to treat. Clinicians may find it difficult to identify patients with moral injuries and patients may not want to talk about the events or the symptoms these events can cause. People with moral injury may be quick to anger or easily irritated, repeatedly think about the event, try to cope with their distress by drinking heavily or misusing substances, or socially withdraw. Unfortunately, these unhelpful ways of coping often keep these difficult feelings going. Moral Injury Stories Sandra, a 34-year-old journalist, told us That incident caused guilt, self-loathing, and it got to the point where I was petrified of making decisions. I got myself and my family into debt. I behaved badly. Dominic, a 45-year-old veteran, told us As you get older, you realise that it's not a game, it's war. It just makes you feel sad. It's just horrible. I thought I was a monster and it's made me ill. I turned to addiction for many years. I was lost. How does moral injury impact others? People with moral injuries often worry what their family or friends will think of them. It can help if people close to the morally injured person listen, do not pass judgment and let the affected person know that they want to understand their experiences and still care for them. What sort of treatment can help? Promising new research from King's College London and Combat Stress has identified potential ways to treat the mental health problems associated with moral injury. The treatment approach is called Restore and Rebuild, or r, &R. Research funded by the Forces in Mind Trust suggests r, r can help patients recover and reconnect with their lives. What is Restore and Rebuild? It is talking therapy delivered over 19 weekly sessions. Sessions are delivered online, working one-to-one -one with a single therapist. r r can help patients make sense of events that cause the moral injury and encourage the development of healthy coping strategies. Patients who've had r r describe it as having a positive impact on their day-to-day -day life and their relationships with others. Restore and Rebuild Stories Neil, a 25-year-old veteran, told us I used to have quite a short fuse. I was easily irritable. That's definitely decreased. I think it's because I've been given an opportunity to vent. It's had a really, really positive effect on me. Linda, a 38-year-old veteran, told us I'm talking loads more with my wife about what happened and how I feel. I've become quite calm. I'm reacting less to the children. I'm opening up a little bit more and being a little bit kinder to myself. In summary, moral injuries can affect anyone. Many people can be helped if they open up to family or friends about their morally challenging experiences. However, if that does not help, 
there is emerging evidence that talking therapy can help people with moral injuries. If you would like more information, please visit our website.